when you run a hedge fund, you know how much money you made yesterday, you know how much money you made this morning. You can see the money being made or not made on a marked market basis in the liquid market. We have no idea what our positions are worth. I mean, we come up with valuation, we use last round, we use comparables, but it's really marked to myth. And so, you know, against that, when you're working, you know, you have no idea. You invest in the company and it does amazing for 10 years. And then in the last month, they trip over their shoelace and they go bankrupt. Were you a good investor? Were you a bad investor? Right? You didn't make money, so you're a bad investor. Did you have any in? Was even though you made all the right decisions all the way through. So, you know, it's really tough to know. Um, it's it's there's no feedback. I kind of say to know if you're good at this business, you really won't know until you retire. I think there is a lot of risk that you take as an investor. Uh, very different kind of risk than obviously the entrepreneurs and founders that are building these companies. But you do take a chance on each business. There are things that most things you're never going to know or have uh, certainty in. You can think about those as kind of market risk. Does anyone even need what I want? And is there a lot of people that uh, might pay for it? You know, there's a million steps that uh, I have to do to execute on this. Can I possibly do it and get all of them right? And, you know, and that's more execution. And then there's the technology risk component, which is, you know, even even if people would buy it and even if I do everything right, is it is it kind of possible? And I think for us, we try to invest in such um, transformative solutions and for really big problems that there's no question of, of the market. Um, it's more, you know, is this the right kind of solution uh, that addresses it? Does, it? does it work 10, 20, 30 years from now potentially, or is this just a moment in time kind of band-aid? You don't have to be an angel investor or a fund investor um, as an individual. So, you know, angel investing takes a lot of work to build your own portfolio, you know, um, do the diligence yourself, um, negotiate the deal terms. You tend to be a smaller investor and not have majority rights that a fund will. Um, if you invest in a fund, then you can get that automatic diversification. You also have the benefit of managers like myself who are managing the investment, doing all the hard work of the diligence, the negotiation, adding value to the company. Um, so we have quite a bit of um, investors who both like to individual angel invest on deals they feel really passionate about, but also gain diversification by investing in funds. If you're trying to enter an industry where like the recruiting is very unstructured or nebulous, um, you can't, you should do the job before you do the job, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, 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 some roles you can't do that, like you kind of have to be in the role or whatever, but things around like venture or product management. I have a friend, uh, Matt Hunter, uh, a very established product leader, right? He, um, I think before got his job at Jawbone, he built a prototype of a product using Twilio API, the Twilio API, right, called 8-Bit. Uh, and then when he went into the interview, I mean, think about it. He went into the interview with a full-fledged product, how it's built, why it works, all the flaws and strengths, right? Whereas everyone else is like waiting for questions. <laughs> so, you, you know, like, oh, he's way better Game as over. a... Oh Game yeah, yeah. Over. Game exactly, over. exactly. So th that's how I, I think about that where like, um, yes. if, you, if you can do the work, Oh, and also don't think of it like if you don't get the job, it's not a short-term thing. Like hopefully you have a long-term mindset where like, yeah, I'm gonna learn something. I'm gonna I'm gonna like there's some benefit of me doing the work anyway. And it may not be applicable just to that opportunity. I think at a base level, there are only thousands of VC positions out there. Period, full stop. And you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that want those positions. So unfortunately, you know, if if we didn't go to the big schools that have a lot of folks in BC and it's harder for us to get into um, to get into venture, we we have to figure out a way in. And unfortunately, you know, showing your commitment that you can hustle, that you can add value without, um, you know, effectively wasting time of the venture capitalist, that's going to set you apart. Here's some data. I think every month I probably am reached out to by 30 or so people that want to get into venture. Um, and that happens almost every month consistently. Over time, I've really only gotten a couple dozen emails that were somewhat tailored to me. Mm.
And so I have, I just, I don't have time to do everything in the inbox, unfortunately. So I just delete all the ones that have no, um, no detail, no personal connection at all. Um, and even if they don't have a common bond with me, just saying, hey, Gail, I read what you did on LinkedIn or Twitter or Medium or whatever, and I really loved it because X, Y, or Z, they actually did something. Mm -hmm. And I will pay attention to mm -hmm. that. So it's, it's any way of hustling. And if you can do the free thing, it's a way to hustle and just get your foot in the door to be able to prove yourself. Yeah, at the end of the day, VC is four things. It's finding deals. It's picking really good deals that you've found. It's winning those and actually getting into the best deals that you've picked. And then it's helping the companies after you invest. So if you think about those four things, where can you add values you're trying to get in? Mm. Is, it, is it finding, you can do that. Um, is it picking, you're probably not gonna help there. Is it winning, you're probably not gonna help there. Is it helping companies, you might be able to add some value there. So I would focus on the finding piece or the helping piece.